Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of great wisdom and well, to the Akim, Akwath, tried the four kings of the earth, holding on to the dark times, the dark prophecies, you know, <laughs> holding on to the, to the, to the dark, uh, Dark scenes of prophecies. Shalom, this Bram Nasher, DC Camp. Short lesson for the hopeful elect. Yeah, so the bitterness of uh, of the gospel is gonna be uh, heavy upon the whole world because uh, the world is uh, proceeding towards that stage of uh, of war, World War Three. Okay, so. You're gonna have the trading of words, all right? The trading of words, you know, all these uh, so-called uh, governments on the east and the west, they're just gonna be, you know, barking at each other, and it's gonna get uh, physical, you know, in the form of a war, all right? And in this video, um, the so-called uh, Russia presenter. You know, it's addressing uh, the Prime Minister of England about uh, what can happen if uh, so-called nuclear, <laughs> you know, altercation starts. So it's just going to be a, a chaotic uh, scenario upon the face of the earth, a chaotic environment, all right? That's why. You know, the Lord Hamashaki Abishai will have to intervene, all right, to uh, deliver the hopeful elect. So, uh, let me just play this uh, video real quick and I get some precepts. It's just about a minute and some change long. А что будет после слов Бориса Джонсона об ответном ударе по России? Вообще на британских островах похоже заговариваются. Зачем грозить ядерным оружием? бескрайней России, сидя на, в общем-то, маленьком острове. Остров столь мал, что лишь одной ракеты «Сармат» достаточно, чтобы его утопить раз и навсегда. Российской ракете «Сармат» – самой мощной в мире. Новое смертельное гиперзвуковое оружие способно уничтожить территорию размером с Техас или Англию. Это всего лишь один пуск, Борис, а Англии нет. Раз и навсегда. Зачем заигрываться? Другой вариант – погрузить Британию в морскую пучину российский подводный робот-беспилотник «Посейдон». Он приближается к цели на километровой глубине со скоростью 200 км в час. Нет никакого способа остановить этот подводный дрон. Боеголовка на нем мощностью до 100 мегатонн. Взрыв этой термоядерной торпеды у берегов Британии – поднимет гигантскую волну, цунами высотой до 500 метров. Такой водяной шквал является еще и носителем экстремальных доз радиации. Пройдя над британскими островами, он превращает... You got to pray that the Lord delivers you, man, you know, delivers your family, you know, delivers a hopeful elect. That's what it boils down to. When the Lord lets the dust settles, then, uh, <laughs> then you, gotta, you know, then we have to, uh, you know, look forward to the peaceable multitude that the Lord, you know, will have to uh, bring back, you know, to the kingdom, all right? This is going to be rough on earth, all right? So the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 says this, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, all right? So it's talking about the ancient form of battle, you know, with uh, swords and maces and uh, war hammers, axes, all right? spears 
uh, shields, you, you name it, man. All right. And then it says, uh, but this, all right, this war that's going to be coming shall be with burning and full of fire. All right. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. All right. So that's the age of war we're in. Okay. In the so called nuclear age of war. All right. So it's going to cause a lot of uh, casualties upon the face of the earth. And the scripture talks about uh, the damage it's going to cause. All right. So, um, you know, it's going to be chaos for a lot of uh, a lot of people okay so i'm gonna get uh to read from the book of isaiah chapter five i'm gonna read from uh verse 26 all right so it says this this is what the lord is gonna do concerning uh, the preparations for World War Three, okay, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from afar and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth and behold they shall come with speed swiftly, alright so that's the preparation for war you know the, the nuclear arsenal are uh, being prepped okay none of them right none shall be weary or stumble among them all right verse 27 so you have 5 and 27 none shall be weary nor stumble among them none shall slumber nor sleep neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed nor the latchets of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp, and all their bows bent, their horses' hoofs shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Verse 29, their roaring shall be like a lion, they shall roar like young lions yeah they shall roar and lay hold of the prey and shall carry it away safe and none shall deliver it so that's uh what's gonna happen when world war three happen you know uh, takes place man these nuclear missiles man that's gonna be shot from the ends of the earth notably russia they're all going to hit, man. They're going to hit their marks, man. You know, just like you've seen in the video, they're all going to do the job that the Lord has sent for them to do, okay? And in that day shall, and in that day they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one look unto the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, the lights is darkened in the heavens above so uh, the destruction upon the face of the earth will be so major that uh, the sun will be blocked out from all the smoke of the burning of America and the different uh, countries around the earth but uh, hey America is gonna get it the worst that's what uh, the scripture says you're right so the book of Psalms, chapter um, 58, verse 7, it says this. In fact, let me read uh, from verse 6, all right? This is the prayer of uh, our forefather, all right, David. So Psalm 58, verse 6, it says... Uh, Break their teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouths. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Okay, so these super elites, man, the Lord is going to uh, take their power from them. Okay, 
the Lord is going to have to uh, tear down that military might, that military prowess when uh, he brings his angels, you know, from uh, the fourth heavens to this world to uh, render judgment, all right? And then it says in verse 7, Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bended his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. So when the angels show up, man, they're just going to turn uh, <laughs> Esau's power structure, his military his infrastructure is going to be turned into powder. All right. So that's the reason why you have to uh, fear the Lord. You know, his power is nothing to be joked with, okay? So, um, you just have to wait on the Lord, man, to deliver you. And, uh, hey, you're just going to be high, say, man. You know, it's hard to find words to describe it. I read this one in the book of uh, Psalm. It's like uh, Matthew chapter 21, verse 44. And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So there is no uh, counsel that could uh, obstruct the prophecies of the Lord from taking place. That's why. King David said that the Lord has to break the teeth of this elite, right? He has to take away their power. He has to take away their might. Just like when you're reading that prophet, it says, let, uh, it says, uh, let their power, you know, their, their, their arm be their might, their military power be their might. So you have to, uh, you know, call upon the Lord for protection, all right? So, um, the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 11, says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. So, there is no uh, running away from the Lord's judgment, man. The Lord is bringing his wrath to the world. And uh, his enemies are going to feel it, all right? Verse 12 says, The earth quake it, and the foundations thereof. The sea arise it up with waves from the deep. So you just saw that uh, nuclear missile from the submarine, you know, <laughs> with a hundred megaton <laughs> of uh, <laughs> you know what. So it's going to be uh, chaotic, man, you know, that the tsunami, you know. So just imagine the number of uh, missiles like that or torpedoes that are going to be launched and they're going to cause so much uh, disturbance in the seas, all right? So it says, the sea arises up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the power and the glory and before the glory of his power all right before the lord and before the glory of his power so when the lord Hawashai returns man the whole world will be in such a situation of chaos that he has to intervene to deliver the hopeful elect and that's exactly what uh you know, this lesson is about, man, you know, the chaos coming upon the face of the earth and uh, counting upon the Lord Hamashiach to deliver us. So, um, the book of Jeremiah, chapter uh, 50, uh, it says this, all right? I'm going to read it real quick. Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 13. Right, so this is what it says. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. All right, so that's the end of uh, of America right there. Okay, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. 
but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. All right? Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she had sinned against the Lord Yahweh. All right? So it's going to be a, an execution in that day, man, round about. Just like, uh, you know, in the ancient world, people that are about with stones in their hand for a public execution. <laughs> you know, it's going to be crazy. And then uh, verse 12, I would have loved to read this earlier, but uh, it says this. Your mother shall be so confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. So it's going to be a bad time, man, for England and the United States, man. You know, so just imagine <laughs> the, the, the chaos that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth. And then he makes an example out of America, you know. And it tears England apart into pieces. So it's just surprising, you know, that uh, a lot of people don't know what the Lord is about to do, right? Because the Lord has to judge the world. He has to judge the nations for uh, the oppression of his people, the Israelites, and for uh, disrespecting his holy name, all right? And uh, another precept I'd like to uh, read is uh, from verse 15, Jeremiah 15, 15 and 15. Shout against her round about. She had given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her as she had done do unto her. All right. So, um, it's going to be uh, a sad time, man. The end of uh, America existing as a nation, as a corporation. All right? The Lord has to uh, tear it apart, you know? Tear it apart. He has to close the curtain on the show. So, a uh, few more precepts to go. I'm going to read another, uh, another one, okay? Isaiah chapter 24, uh, let's see, I'm going to start from verse 18, and it shall come to pass, Isaiah 24, 24 verse 18, and it shall come to pass, that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare for the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do quake so those nuclear missiles man is going to cause a lot of uh, chaos that a lot of that so many people will not be able to escape all right whoever is upon the land <laughs> they're not going to be uh able to deliver themselves man when that uh, nuclear warhead hits its mark that's it those that go on the ground it's going to be hard for them you know to deal with that shock wave you know some people are just going to die on the ground man but the super elites are going to be uh, reserved okay for uh <laughs> for slavery in the kingdom all right so verse 19 it says this, Isaiah 24, 19, The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. All right, so that's the earthquake, man, the major earthquake. You know, the disturbance that uh, this nuclear missile is going to have, the impact it's going to have upon the face of the earth. It's going to shake the earth, man. It's going to shake the earth's <laughs> office axis, all right? 
S20 says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. All right, so it's, it's going to be a, 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 a powerful uh, uh, execution of the Most High's uh, will upon the earth. The Lord is bringing uh, his vengeance, he's bringing his wrath, he's bringing his uh, righteous indignation upon the earth. So, what do you expect? He has to shake. <laughs> He has to shake the beach up, man, you know, so it's about time. That's why we pray for uh, for safety, okay? So let's see him get uh, the book of, uh, the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 91. Yeah, because uh, you need uh, the Messiah to intervene, you know, for his namesake your behalf to uh, be delivered all right psalms chapter 91 verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence all right so the lord's going to protect his elect from the power of the elite all right and uh, whatever they have uh, set in motion to uh decimate our nation to take away our existence the lord is going to uh, prevent that from happening all right so just imagine when all that uh, chaos of war is taking place and the elect are covered man that would be a, a huge miracle a huge favor from the lord verse 4 psalms 91 verse 4 he shall cover thee with his with his feathers all right he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler so the lord is going to give his angels charge over his elect so that they'll be protected in his last days all right you know the the anointing of the lord will be upon me all right so there will be no uh, harm to take, you know, shake uh, the fate of the elect, all right? So uh, we're all going to stand in that lot. Psalms 91 verse 5 says this, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, all right? Then it says, Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. So with all the uh, chemical warfare and all that taking place, and nuclear warfare, and all the explosions taking place, and bullets flying, bombs flying, all that stuff, the Lord's going to have uh, his angels protect his elect in those days, all right? So it's going to be a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, experience to have, all right? So that uh, you definitely know what it really means, you know, to have that uh, mark of salvation, that tawar that uh, <laughs> Ezekiel 9 and 4 uh, was talking about. So that was upon the Akim, Abaratus of the Lord, Amashaki, Abashai, Bashim, Kakadash, delivers us from this uh, impending doom that's coming upon the face of the earth. Shalom.